A thriller is very satisfying when the writing is smart. But there is a very fine line between being smart and over smart. Where does this film lies? Let's talk about it. Hello guys, I'm Nuna Prince and today we're talking about the latest Malayalam film, Bougainvillea. That's a pronunciation on Google. Don't come after me. A film by Amal Neerad. I have to say this has been a good year for me because so many Malayalam films are releasing near me with subtitles. Especially when the films are meant to be watched in theatre. From the trailer itself, the film looked really cool. And Amal Neerad, you know, comes with his own style, which has been a factor in his past films. I have seen few of them, Ibyonte Pushtakam, Varathan and Bhishma Parva. And I think even Big B, but I slept during that. And what I could conclude from these films was that it is style over substance. The movements he creates in his films look so cool, but narratively, they may not go that well. And in this new film also, we have that Amal Irad flair, and this time it's actually way more seamless and convincing. So if you're a fan of his style, you'll definitely have a good time. And this film is meant to be watched in a theatre just for the music and sound design. You feel the vibrations and it adds to the mood the film is creating. And that experience is enriched by beautiful cinematography. The colors give you this visual texture which is very pleasing to the eye. And technically the film is solid. From the camera work to the editing to the effects they add to make you feel that moment. All of it is to the point. It is a slow burn thriller. It keeps you guessing. The performances are stand out. Jyotir Maid is the first time watching her. I think she is making a comeback after a long time. And she just owned this role which was very difficult. And Jacob Owen was great as always. And Fahad was in a supporting role and he did the best he could with that. Now to talk more about the film i need to get into some minor spoilers not direct ones you know i have landed in trouble before for doing that i'll keep it very indirect and this being a thriller i think you should not know anything going in so if you have seen the film then only continue watching this has been your warning now from the trailer itself you know there were some comparisons coming with kishkinda kandam and after watching the film i think that will continue what a coincidence that within a year two thrillers came out using the same plot element amnesia and it's such a fascinating concept to use in a thriller it works so well i don't know if there have been other thrillers who have used this before if i think maybe shutter island is kind of that but maybe not exactly that do you know any other let me know but apart from that they are very different films the plot is very different as well as the treatment of the film but the comparison is unavoidable and will come down to an individual's preference you may like both of them or either one of them according to your taste or maybe none of them now just like Varathan, the drama shifts into it amal needed this phase in the last 30 minutes now the drama is very very engaging as the investigation proceeds it's very haunting to see this amnesia patient to go through all of this she doesn't even remember what she did is she the culprit and the sequences when we are in her pov are so well done you feel what she's going through the dilemma she's having the doubt she has she's unsure it's like an unreliable narrator and constantly we are getting more and more information as things are unfolding but you're unable to predict where we are going with this what's the end game there was this one thing which i predicted and the film also revealed it at the one third mark regarding the kids there are many times in the past films have fooled me about that so i'm always very attentive but still there's no chance to see the climax coming now when the turn happens happens and we go to the Amal Nirad mode, when we get the whole reveal, I like how quick and straightforward it was. There was no explanation or big monologue explaining things. It was very much action based. It gives you the idea and all of it is depicted visually. There are very few dialogue. Now here you do feel that the drama before was very grounded. It was very well cooked. But this twist kind of feels very out there. It's not just one reveal. There are layers to it. And that may feel like too much according to your taste. For some it'd be like oh my god moment and for some it'd be like oh really this is too much. It depends on how the the film is able to convince you. Now for me what worked was knowing the director's previous work as well as the execution of the reveal. As I said it was very quick. There was no unnecessary flaw and it never felt like they are being over smart. The film does leave me with few questions but it's not a deal breaker and I like that they didn't give the answers. You have to figure out yourself. And actually while watching the film I had this thought what if it's this which is the climax itself but it felt too wild and I disregarded it and they actually did the wild thing. And the climax we have these action sequences which I think are done so well and it was very gender neutral because you you don't see a man hitting a woman you know with so much force it's usually not shown on screen like we don't get an action sequence between a man and a woman and there's no holding back so that really stood out to me and even the theme of the film the violence against women the way it builds it so naturally in the plot it actually covers so much of it from domestic violence to serial killer to the patriarchal aspect and then to even end the film with an empowering moment for women and it's never on the face it just happens and then it hits you and the reveal for her was quite dark it's not just amnesia she was living a whole fake life for so many years she herself was a victim and captured and also ended up being an aid in the crime who came up with this as i said jyotir mai was lovely but kunchako bovan really surprised me man i didn't see that coming and he performs it so convincingly the range he portrayed in the film was outstanding see overall this film is a very stylish thriller and does offer you something different now in this video I talked about two malayalam thrillers with the same ending how is that even possible to know check it out what are your thoughts about this film let me know in the comments below and i will see you next time